as students will have completed their assignments by the time exam arrives. We will have left Afghanistan by the year 2026. My mom will have cooked the lunch by the time the guests come. Future perfect in the passive voice. Hello everybody, welcome to this grammar lesson on future perfect in the passive voice. We have already talked about many tenses in the active and some of the tenses in the passive voice. Now it is time to learn about future perfect in the passive voice. What is the structure of future perfect in the active? What is the structure of future perfect in the passive? Okay, before going to the structures, make sure that you know about the usage of future perfect. Because if you do not know how to use future perfect in active, then you cannot understand it in the passive voice. If you have problem about future perfect in active, go and watch our video on YouTube channel on the future perfect active form. Then you can easily understand what is future perfect in the passive form. Let's begin. The structure of future perfect in the active, we have subject plus will plus have plus verb three plus object, the most important part for changing it to the passive plus complement. When we change it to the passive voice, this object comes in the beginning as a subject. If it is him, if it is him, we make it he, if it is her, we make it she, if it is them, we make it they, or if it's a noun, we bring it in the beginning as a subject. Subject plus will plus have plus been plus verb three plus complement. Future perfect active structure, future perfect passive structure. Now let's say some sentences in the active form of future perfect and passive form of future perfect. I have written the examples on the board. They are in the active, then they have been changed to the passive voice as well. The first sentence is we will have bought the dress by the time you come home. It is a future perfect tense, but in the active form. Let's understand the parts of the sentence. What do we have here? We is used as a subject, then will as a modal verb, have as an auxiliary verb to make it perfect tense. Then we have the verb tree bought, then the object, the dress, by the time you come home, the rest of the sentence. So it's the active form. To change it to the passive, we need bring object in the beginning. What is the object of the sentence? The dress. The dress is the object of the sentence. The dress comes in the beginning. The dress will have been bought by the time you come home. Translation. Uh, the dress will have been bought by the time you come home. First one is active, second one is passive. Next sentence, I will have cooked the dinner before my mom comes. What are the parts of this sentence? I is the subject, will is the model, have is the auxiliary verb, cooked is the main verb, the dinner is the object, before you come home, before my mom comes, it's the uh, complement or the rest of the sentence. Now, in order to change it to passive, the object needs, needs to come in the beginning. What is the object? The dinner. The dinner comes in the beginning. The dinner will have been cooked before my mom comes. It's the passive form of future perfect. Translation. I will have cooked the dinner before my mom comes. I will have cooked the dinner before my mom comes. I will have cooked the Subject mom active. Second one. The dinner will have been cooked. Before my mom comes home, So, not clear. The dinner will have been cooked. Who cooked? Who cooks? Who will cook? Not clear. It's the passive form of future perfect. They will have finished their painting by 9 p.m. On who painting It's active. On her subject is clear. Now in passive, the painting will have been finished by 9 p.m. Rang moni khohat khalas shuda bosha. Ki khalas khod kada bosha? Not clear because it's passive. The painting will have been finished by 9 p.m. Rang moni khohat khalas shuda bosha. Tosate no bosha. This is passive. First sentence active. Second sentence passive. 
Sentence number four. We will have served the guests by the time you arrive. We is the subject, will is the model, have is the auxiliary, served is the verb tree, the guest's object, by the time you arrive, it's the rest of the sentence or the complement. Now, in order to change it to passive, we need to bring the object in the beginning. What is the object? The guests. The guests. The guests come in the beginning. The guests will have been served by the time you arrive. So, when we say translation, so the word served, you name tahiyya kardan e ghizo yo khidamo tarza kardan yo ghizo tahiyya kardan ba mehmoon ho mehmoon badari So, tarjuma ka mehmoon e, we will have served the guest yo ni mo khidamo te ghizo ra khot tahiyya kardan mo shayin ba mehmoon ho by the time you arrive, ta wakti ki tu beresi ki khot tahiyya kardan mo shayin? Mo, it's active, subject is clear In the passive, the guest will have been served برای مهمان ها خواهد تهیه شده باشه غذا by the time you arrive تا وقتی که شما میرسین The first one is active The second one is passive Alright This was all about future perfect in the passive voice We talked about the structure and the examples of future perfect in the passive I wish you guys understood the lesson and I wish you learned about future perfect in active and passive and you have to be able to use it in the sentences in your life Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.